getting really close now to finishing the boat you've got the lacing down the sides the grab loops front and back and you've got the uh, the airbags now fitted with all the gear loops you can see the sailing cleats and let's just give you a close-up at the front you can see the airbags are now completely wrapped in foam mat so they're well protected from little branches and sticks and you know me being stupid and poking stuff into it and of course you've got your your bow deck mounted swim line and there's going to be one at the rear as well so here we go just pan back and take a good look at the boat quite pleased with that so far so you may have noticed the one thing we're missing now is a sailing foot we can see the the sailing seat is ready to rock and roll but we just need to put the sailing foot in there and we've got a a great system ready to go so let's measure that up the only way that I can think of to get that sailing foot as accurate as possible is by eye there are so many curves and so many irregularities on a canoe and measuring where that foot's going to go is almost impossible so I'm just going to use the classic mark one eyeball position the sail look down the boat and as you can see it's pretty damn good now that I'm happy with its position because it's quite sticky and rubber I'm going to mark round here with a bit of indelible pen and that will give me my footprint area which I can prepare for the adhesive okay marked up with the pen let's pull the pole out and let's see what we got look at that little perfect circle that's all you need just a faint line so now I'm going to abrade this and then glue the bottom but I'm going to do that bit indoors because it's going to need 36 hours to cure properly so here we go into the garage so I'm working under torchlight and I'm indoors right now I've moved the boat indoors to get it out of the rain because I'm going to be fitting the sail foot mount so here's the small faint blue area that I've marked on the boat and because the boat is brand new it's leaching lots of oils out of the plastic and that's going to stop any glue sticking to the hull of the boat nice and easily so I've got to actually encourage the oil out of the boat by heating it so I'm going to use a gas stove underneath this seat to heat that little blue patch up just down here to bring the oil out and stop and make the glue stick here we go then <coughs> Okay, we've uh, heated that up and I just want to see whether you can actually hear this on the camera and you can see that there's some blackening here. Those are oils coming out of the plastics, but also listen to this. So I haven't run any sandpaper of that at all. So that's the, the plastic becoming uh, rougher and uh, better for the glue to stick to. So it's worth doing. So now the plastic's been heated and we've remove some of the oils the next job is to uh, take some really good quality um, heavy grain sandpaper and basically abrade this whole area now i'm going to abrade that really really firmly to get a good uh, a good seal with it, the glue you will hear people talk about taking a knife and scoring this is really um, really dangerous because if you put grooves in your boat and the boat gets an impact from underneath then the plastic can split underneath so i just recommend you you keep to uh, just sanding that down really firmly with a very, very coarse sandpaper. Here we go. One sandpaper to braided patch. Don't need to see people applying glue, but quite simply, we've applied glue to the boat over the area that was abraded and heat sealed, and we've applied glue to the footer. And now we're just gonna let the glue go off for four hours. And once the glue goes off, you then introduce the two surfaces together. So four hours later, we've now got tacky surfaces. So what we've got to do is take some more glue, put a layer on the top of the glue, whoop, bit of fluff, and then we're going to stick the two surfaces together. And what we're going to do as well is use this clever little roll of tape to roll everything flat and get rid of all the air bubbles. So natty tricks.
Right, that's rolled in flat. So the next job is to just keep it in position with this little bit of tape. I'm just going to put a ring of tape over the top. Now I'll act as a, as a press. And all I've got to do then is put some weight on. There we go. Weight sat on top. Now we're going to leave that overnight and it'll cure. Let's get this block out and see if it's fixed. What a pretty boat, ready to sail. So we've got the sail positioned on the mast with the boom to take it out of water. And you can see the surface area of that sail is pretty profound. So let's just take in a little closer and see what the setup is. Standard canoe poles are used, so nothing special. And we go straight down into the footer at the bottom. Pull back. That's all we have, it's just a, it's just a simple removable footer I can lift that up and take that out in seconds standard canoe poles as I've said no additions there to make it a little bit more uh, uh, extended nice big window on the sail and this is where the clever bit happens the end of the sail we have a bit of cordage which I just happened to have clipped on with a carabiner and the cordage goes back into a small carabiner at the back of the boat and then follows forwards into one of the cleats on the kneeling thwart. So let's just bring you down here, have a quick look at this. Nice little cleat, really simple. Pull it, locks in, and then we can allow the sail to be paid out. Paid out to a different angle. And then secure it as we wish. Plenty of cordage as well. And the end of the cordage, tied off with a releasable clove hitch. Ha, 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 ha.